What is up guys, Joey Zammer here talking about the five tips to build a bigger deadlift. So tip number one is uh, deadlifting more. Jake, what, what are you doing, man? But dude, I always squat four times a week and put my deadlift at the end of my training week. Yeah, don't be like Jake. All right, so when it comes to the deadlift, you wanna to try to increase your frequency. Typically, if you're only deadlifting one time per week, and maybe it's at the end of the week, you wanna move that to the, the beginning of the week, and then try to get in another deadlifting session later on in the week that you may be working on a weak point or just a different deadlift variation to help build that deadlift. All right, tip number two for building a big deadlift is gonna be incorporate more deadlift variation exercises and cut out a lot of the small muscle group exercises. Jake, <laughs> come on, Jake. What do you mean, man? I'm hitting my lower lat to improve my deadlift. All right, so when I was trying to build my deadlift, what I thought to, that would do that would be to increase the amount of exercise I was doing in accessory work. So by doing tons of barbell rows, lat pull downs, pull ups, chin ups, you name it. But really honestly, what that was doing is kind of plateauing my progress and what really helped build it was implementing more variations of the deadlift, such as things like tempo deadlifts, deficit deadlifts, block pulls, or pause deadlifts. All right, so tip number three when it comes to building a strong deadlift is stop doing So what I was trying to say before that was stop doing touch and go deadlifts. Now, there is a time and place for touch and go deadlifts, especially if it's comp specific, or if you just like training that way, that's fine. But when it comes to building a big, strong deadlift, I think that stopping the touch and go and focusing uh, on resetting every time is gonna help build the technique, the proper structure, and working the right muscle groups to help build a strong deadlift, especially when it comes to pulling off of the floor. So if you're wondering why you can't get your deadlift to the floor, uh, I mean, have you seen this guy's legs? They're a little small, bro. Have you seen this guy's legs? A little small, bro. All right, tip number four is gonna be increase the strength of your legs. Now what, this guy's telling me to deadlift more, and now he's saying to increase my leg strength? Yeah, hear me out. I'm talking to the people who are just beginning their training or maybe intermediate lifters who still have room for improvement to grow their quads and legs in general. I think it's gonna have a nice carryover when you're trying to pull off the ground and almost visualize that you're pushing the floor away as if you were trying to use a leg press. I know that's cute a lot, but I do think for beginner and intermediate lifters, it could make or break the difference of your strength with a deadlift as well as getting the bar off the floor. Tip number five for building a big deadlift is gonna be program in things that are gonna help focus on your weak points. Jake, Jake, dude, dude, I think there are way better variations you can do to focus on your weak points. Dude, I'm building my lockout muscles for my deadlift. What are you talking about? So when it comes to programming, for me, some variations that have really helped uh, increase my deadlift and get my weak points stronger have been doing things like bands or chain deadlifts, also doing block pulls uh, from around the knee to help with my lockout, and kind of doing some deficit work, which is gonna just make the range of motion even longer, which is gonna help build you stronger in all the positions in the deadlift. So there you guys have it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, giving you guys five tips to build a bigger and stronger deadlift. But here's my secret last tip. Don't be like Jake. And if you guys enjoyed this, make sure you check out the description down below. And if you wanna check out what I do, head over to my YouTube channel, Zat Strength, for more information.